Well, it kind of started from my last name, because mm-hmm. um, my last name starts with T-E-I. Um, so it was kind of like derived from my last name, but it just kind of, it's like an abstract yeah. take on it, I yeah. guess. I mean, it's like a, it's definitely like an evolution, yeah. a growth process that's constantly happening because it's hard to kind of, it's kind of a difficult thing to to embody or to, to say like, I'm an artist or I, you know, like kind of, it's, it takes a lot of confidence that I yeah. think uh, you don't, a lot of people don't really get until, at least for me, I didn't really get there until more recently, kind of attributed it to other people around mm. me or kind of, I didn't really um, believe that it was like, uh, because of me. Hi, so I'm here with Taishi. Hi. <laughs> so you were born in Argentina, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was born in Buenos Aires. Um, were, were your parents born there as well? No, my parents were both born and raised in Colombia. Oh. So um, they were just like living in Argentina for a few years and I was born while they were there. Yeah. So when I was two, we moved back to Colombia. Oh. And that's where I spent my childhood. Yeah, yeah. what brought them to Argentina? Um, my dad was working for a company at the time, like he got moved, he got like transferred to yeah. Argentina and um, yeah, so they just moved there for like, I think they lived there for five years, but I was only there for two. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't remember much about it, like in general? I don't remember much. I mean, I kind of have like a couple of weirdly like specific yeah? memories, yeah, but um, I don't really remember very much. And then in Colombia, you started getting into like, was it like dance and stuff? Yeah, I started doing um, ballet when I was like, maybe three, like two or three. Yeah. And um, because my mom was a dancer when she was younger. Oh, wow. She got um, my sister and I into it like at a really young age. And so I did ballet until I was like 14 and um, other kinds of dance and stuff all through my childhood. What do your parents do? Um, my dad is a businessman, <laughs> and uh, my mom uh, was a lawyer, but she, like, kind of gave that up to raise my three sisters. And yeah. We always go kind of, like, creative, right? You did music really early on already. Yeah, um, I mean, I've been, I started singing since I was, like, a baby. Yeah. Um, started, like, writing songs and stuff when I was really young, um, and then did dance and like always was performing in some way when I was growing up and uh, always like kind of gravitated towards like the arts yeah and then I kind of just gradually started doing it more and yeah. more seriously and yeah. or do you think you got that side of you from if your parents parents aren't like <laughs> super artistic um I wondered that for a really long time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's interesting because my all my like I have three sisters and oh, all of wow. us love to sing and um, they all have really beautiful voices oh. and so like I, I so my grandmother my mom's mom um, was like had a beautiful voice oh. and I didn't find this out until recently Damn. but or I didn't find out until recently that she when she was really young she'd wanted to go to like opera wow. school like she wanted to go study be, to be an opera singer and her parents didn't let her yeah and um, but she used to always sing like you know, in front of the family and when we were around. And uh, yeah, I think that I probably got that in like a large part of it from her. Yeah. Yeah. How do you describe yourself back then growing up? Pretty emo. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, I was very like introspective and like yeah. pretty in my emotions. Like obviously listening to music a lot and like a lot of like sad music and yeah. just like being very just in my feelings a lot yeah um pretty kind of dramatic in that sense but not dramatic in that like I never really had like drama going on around me like with like you know yeah. friends and stuff like I was a pretty chill kid I was a huge extrovert when I was younger and then I kind of like became more of an yeah introvert actually what happened up. I read that in an interview <laughs> I don't know um yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like I just kind of, I used to, when I was young, like, I was like, I really loved to perform and like I was, I loved like attention and kind of just like being the life of the party. And as I got older, mm-hmm. I feel like I kind of mellowed out and 
I became more timid and just kind of, um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I, I'm definitely social and like, you know, obviously I, what I do as a career is like something that keeps me really like yeah. socially active and like all that. But um, yeah, I think I just kind of started appreciating like alone time and like quiet time and as I started like writing more music and all right. that, that's something that kind of you need to be pretty like kind of private and isolated and um, so I feel like I've found that I thrive in that environment mm -hmm. a lot. And you also journaled a lot, right? Yeah. Yes. And you still like, like for songs, I used to like look back on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I kept journals, like, while I was growing up, I have tons of them, yeah. and I would write, like, songs and poems and just, like, you know, diary things and about my crushes and, like, all that, <laughs> like, you know, um, so there's, yeah, there's a lot of material <laughs> in there. Yeah, and you started recording, was on her, like, sister's, like, boombox or something, like, really early on? Yeah, um, my older sister had a boombox that, um you could kind of, you could record on it for on cassette tapes. Yeah. And so she passed it down to me and I learned how to record myself on it. So I would um, kind of just record tapes of me, myself singing and making up songs and talking to myself and <laughs> doing, you know, anything that like a nine year old kid does. Yeah. <laughs> and you were, in some of her songs I'm like pretty nostalgic about that time, right? When you were growing up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I like to revisit my childhood. Um, I mean, I feel like I, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I had a really happy childhood and like I have a big family and I, you know, we, we were all like living in the same house only for a certain amount of time because my two older sisters are much older. So they kind of, you know, left and went to college and all that, mm -hmm. like when we were still really young. So I have kind of like a nostalgia for that time when my all my family was under one roof oh, and yeah. um yeah mm -hmm. and you had some like anxiety right like with like some dreams about her parents or something yeah I'm I had a lot of like a fear of the night time and the dark yeah. and um a hard time falling asleep and I think I just had a lot of like anxieties in the night time mm -hmm. so uh yeah I struggled with that struggled with that for a while and yeah. kind of worked my way through it um, and that's kind of something that I'm alluding to in the album with the album title yeah uh, crawl space because um, the way I kind of worked through a lot of that was by sitting in the crawl space in our house by myself every night for a little bit and that was kind of like confronting my worst fear so yeah um, that was uh, like kind of a metaphor for how I was feeling when I was making the album. Yeah. Too. What kind of music were your parents playing in the house when you were growing up? Um, there were all kinds of music, really. Like, it was a pretty diverse range. Um, my mom mostly listened to like classic rock and like folk music. Mm -hmm. um, my dad also listened to a lot of classic rock and um, a lot of like female singers that were like big kind of divas yeah. like Whitney Houston and Celine Dion and Mariah Carey and um, so I kind of grew up listening to that and a lot of Latin music and uh, my older sisters would listen to like pop music from the late 80s early yeah. 90s that they were really into like um, Madonna and Michael Jackson and uh, Nirvana and Prince and all that stuff and um, and then I got kind of into my own stuff like yeah. more uh like rock music and then R&B and hip-hop and electronic music so kind of just there was just kind of everything around me musically mm -hmm. yeah. did you find like your personal music yourself or like what was the music scene back then like like were your friends also listening to all that music or um not really when I started I feel like I kind of figured out like I, I developed like my own independent like taste in mm. music kind of earlier than I think a lot of people did. Yeah. So I feel like when I was like 12, I was, you know, I loved the Beatles and I was listening to a lot of stuff that like my peers weren't necessarily yeah, discovering yet. Yeah, I was thinking. So um, I always felt like music was kind of like my private thing, like yeah. in a way, because um, most of my friends growing up weren't 
musicians and weren't mm-hmm. really like you know doing that or as interested in that so it kind of was my uh my little private yeah. passion and then was it already like during high school they got interested in psychology um yeah i i got interested in it i mean i took some classes i took like a college class while i was still in high school that was like oh, introduction wow. to yeah. psychology and i really loved it and i just loved reading about it and i was like i wasn't really sure what i wanted to do with my life because i didn't really see like a realistic path mm-hmm. to being like an you know a musician and like making that a career so I was kind of more academically yeah. like focused um, and so I decided to study psychology for my first year at college and um, that's what I did and then um, I decided to like switch gears and study music instead and yeah. that was kind of the beginning of this phase of my life I guess. Yeah. What about psychology do you really love? Mm, I don't really know. I mean, I think it just kind of, uh, I don't know, it makes sense to me because it's kind of like, it's like a science that you can read about but relate to your mm, own, Yeah. you know, you can base it off of your own experience and your own behavior and you can kind of understand it through your own experience. Mm-hmm. Um, so as much as it's like, you know, there's a lot of like, research and like a lot of like scientific kind of elements of it that you have to learn and uh and read about it's also a very kind of human experience like it's a very human um subject and uh I feel like it's interesting because you can kind of while you're learning about it you can kind of observe the people in your life and kind of start like breaking them down (laughs) and like deconstructing your relationships and stuff and it's just kind of like a really interesting way of learning something and by your own through your own kind of human experience so yeah yeah and for going to McGill did you already you already moved to like Canada by that point right yeah so um, my family moved to Vancouver Canada when I was eight so I spent a lot oh. of my most of my life there and I uh, graduated from high school there right. and then I moved to Montreal for school yeah and then was it soon after that you decided that you wanted to go to Berkeley? Yeah, I pretty much decided it within like kind of halfway through my year. Wow. Um, and uh, and then um, yeah, just kind of went yeah. out on a limb and. Went How did you decide on Berkeley? Um, oh, well, I did like a summer thing there, like a program oh. uh, the summer before I started. Um, school at McGill yeah and um, I ended up being offered a scholarship to go there full time through that um, through doing that and uh, that's so cool and then I kind of did my year at McGill and took that time to figure out if I really wanted to study music or not yeah and um, and I decided that I did yeah yeah. I'm actually really close to you because I went to Northeastern so oh, we nice. were like just like down really the road close. from each other, yeah. yeah. Do you think going to Berkeley really helped you, like looking back? Um, I, I really don't, it's hard to say, like, I think it helped me because it allowed me to be in an environment um, that was kind of just like centered on music and I mm. never had that before. Yeah. I didn't really grow up having like friends or peers or family that were in music or were kind of like interested in the things I was interested in and so it really helped me to kind of figure out my own path because then suddenly I was around other people who you know were like-minded and I could learn from other people and um, I learned a lot like just in terms of like actually understanding music and theory because I didn't have any knowledge of that Mm -hmm. before going there Um, but when it comes to my actual like my music and what yeah. I'm doing creatively, I, I don't really, I mean, I kind of fi- started figuring that out and developing it like on my own while I was at Berkeley and it was kind of my private thing that I mm-hmm. did, which later became something that I put out into yeah. the world. Um, but I wasn't really being super active while I was there in terms of like being an artist. Um, 
So I don't really think it, I necessarily got that end of things from Berkeley, mm -hmm. but at least I kind of was in a space where I could make music my main thing. Yeah. And so then I was able to, you know, kind of work on my songs and, um, and start making, figuring out my sound and everything. And then at what, like, at what age did you start Teishi? Um, well, I was writing songs and kind of, I was learning how to record myself more, like, while I was at Berkeley. And, oh, so um, that you weren't going under a different moniker? You were, like, your first name was... I wasn't putting out music or oh, doing anything. at all? I was just, yeah. no, I was just writing the songs and learning how to record myself and just, um, kind of just picking up, you know, basic things, um, and starting to make these songs that eventually became my first EP. So um, after I graduated and I moved to New York, I had all these songs that I'd worked on. Yeah. That I kind of had little demos and stuff. Um, and I finished those and made the first EP. Yeah. And that was the first thing that I released as Taishi. So that was like four years ago. Yeah. Now. Yeah. How did you actually come up with the name? Um, it kind of started from my last name, because mm -hmm. um, my last name starts with T-E-I, um, so it was kind of like derived from my last name, but it just kind of, it's like an abstract yeah. take on it, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Did you never think of putting songs out as your personal name? Um, no, I never really wanted to do that. I don't know. I just kind of... I don't think my real name is something that's like super easy and like mm. catchy. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of wanted to come up with something different. And I also like the idea of like separating, yeah. you know, that from my everyday self. Yeah. And at the beginning, you were kind of unsure of being like an artist, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, it's like a, it's definitely like an evolution yeah. of growth process that's constantly happening because it's hard to kind of it's kind of a difficult thing to to embody or to to say like I'm an artist or I you know like kind of it's it takes a lot of confidence that I yeah. think uh, you don't a lot of people don't really get until at least for me I didn't really get there until more recently yeah. and until I uh, got some of the experience and, a, and the understanding of really what yeah. that means. Um, How do you say you got your confidence? Um, I mean, I think I'm still kind of, there's always a struggle, you know, it's not like a constant thing, but I definitely feel like I'm a lot more comfortable with um, kind of owning like mm -hmm. myself as as an artist and and kind of owning like the music that I'm putting out and being able to just like feel confident about the work that I'm making and feel like I can talk about it comfortably yeah. and not kind of feel shy about it um I think that just came has come with just the time and like experience now I guess from you know going from uh never having played a show in front of people and never having showed anybody my songs to now like I've toured and I've yeah. you know released things and I've kind of just um yeah I think it's just the time mm -hmm. that's really allowed me to get there what well, made you want to like constantly like change your style like your look and everything um I don't know. I, it's something I've always kind of done or been interested in. Like, I've always been very interested in, like, aesthetic and, like, fashion and, mm -hmm. you know, just, uh, I don't know. I always kind of had, like, I think developed a sense of style that was pretty eclectic and kind of I was, like, changing and shifting just throughout, like, being a teenager and yeah. all of that. Um, I, don't, I just, I, I enjoy like playing around with my appearance, mm -hmm. I guess. I think it's fun and I like change. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's kind of like how I approach music too in a way. Like I, I like to be able to flow in and out of different things and like different worlds and not necessarily tie myself to like one identity or like yeah. one look or whatever, you know, one sound. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Well, what do you say have been your biggest struggle so far? Um, I think my biggest struggles have probably been just like kind of uh, getting enough confidence in mm -hmm. myself where yeah. I can believe that, you know, I've, that uh, I can kind of stand on my own two feet and not, um, I don't know, I think early on when I started putting music out, I wasn't really intending, it wasn't intentional, it wasn't really, I wasn't really going for anything, I was just kind of, I put a song up and it got really good response and so I put another song up yeah. and then kind of things happened gradually so early on I kind of I didn't really I guess I felt like I was maybe getting that um, attention or success or anything early on um, I kind of attributed it to other people around mm. me or I kind of I didn't really um, believe that it was like uh, because of me and mm -hmm. so that kind of led me to I think rely on other people a little bit and too much or or just kind of not take myself uh, seriously enough and it, it took me a while to get to a, point, a place where I was comfortable with like you know doing whatever I wanted to do and working with different people and, and not um, I don't know I, I think that's the biggest struggle is just mm -hmm. being able to um, just being able to believe it I guess in myself as just uh, being capable on my own if yeah that makes sense. Mm -hmm. other than the confidence how do you think you've grown as a person um, I think I've just kind of I think I've my like ambitions or my goals or the things that I want to do with my music and with my career have just become more ambitious mm -hmm. and they've become more varied um, and uh, I think I've just become more I've learned to like take what not take myself more seriously but um, kind of take what I do more seriously and and in the sense that now it's my career and like I, I know now that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life so mm -hmm. I think it's just kind of there's a certain like more professionalism that I kind of like I don't know I put into everything I do now than I used to. Last question what do you want to be remembered for? Um, I'd like to be remembered for being someone who kind of paved some sort of path whether you know however small or big that is like I think I'd want to be remembered as somebody who kind of created their own made their own rules and created their own kind of lane um, rather than being successful at kind of you know replicating mm. something else that's already yeah. happened well, oh, careful. <laughs> um, you know I, there there's certain artists that they create their thing and and that's they make their own kind of pocket in their own lane and then um, it's hard to compare them to other people and that's what makes somebody kind of uh, irreplaceable in a way so I, I think that's kind of, that's the kind of that's what I would want to achieve with my career is um, and what I would be want to be remembered for is just kind of creating my own thing yeah that's so sick I love that <laughs> thank you so much oh, thanks. Yeah. Bye.